My name is Trent, and I'm from Nebraska AIDS Project. Two months and 24 days. That's how long it's been since I felt the warmth of your skin against mine. It was snowy outside, so we both raced to see who could get to the door first. Your football training is no match for my weak legs and thick, heavy boots. I curse at you playfully because you leave me behind to maneuver my way through the untouched, snowy yard. By the time I reach the door, you're already half undressed, complaining about how hot it is. I follow you downstairs to your makeshift basement bedroom to leave, and I left my snow boots on my doormat. You're always two steps ahead of me and already have Netflix pulled up on your TV. Our new favorite show starts playing before I can even get comfortable beside you. I gaze into your focused green-blue eyes, and I feel the same safety I felt the first day we met. You catch me staring and push me to watch the television. I'm home. Everything in me is calm and content. The upcoming court date doesn't even cross my mind as we watch until the character is warned about jail. Jail, the last place I would expect you to end up. But something in the pit of my stomach tells me that this is our last night free together. I sob silently into your chest for what feels like hours as you stroke my back asking what's wrong. I can't speak, but somehow for the second night in a row, this is because of you. You assure me it will be okay and it won't be long before you're back home, but I know you're just trying to comfort me. I've only told a few people about your run-ins with the law. And the reaction is always the same. Are you sure you want to be with him? And is it really even worth it? People believe that felons are bad people, but I know you're not a bad person, love. You've always been the person who helps me out with a big heart and a smile on your face. Your goofiness can make anyone laugh. We both know you are guilty, but no one warns you about how hard it is to live as the puppet of the government, the system wants you to fail, so it controls your every move. Now you have failed. Erased from our society, locked up, no more nights of cuddles, no more television watching by your side, the soft, happy man is gone for now. Two months, 24 days, and counting. <laughs>